Hi, my name is Sheila Thielen, and I'm the president of Vestibular Training Services in Minnesota over in the United States. I'm truly honored to be a part of the ILMA's university's academic quality assurance project. And thank you so much for having me today. I wanna to tell you a little bit what I'm doing and where I need your help. So I'm looking for academic research on my product called Vestibular Training Services. So I'm gonna show you what they look like and, and how we can all team up. So first of all, I am a master figure skating coach. And for the last 30 years, I've been teaching spinning and turning and jumping and balancing and major vestibular balance to athletes all over the world. While at the same time, doctors and physical therapists and occupational therapists and academics have been doing research on vestibular of the eyes, ear and brain balance, uh, understanding the importance of it and how it's the master system of the brain, uh, except for they didn't have my fabulous training tools. So I'm trying to bring everyone together and using my training tools for their academic purposes and for their training and rehabilitation purposes. So I want to apply it to multiple different things. So the first one I'd like to show you that I'd like to apply it to, let me share my screen here, <laughs> uh, is I'd like to show you a little girl with autism. Oops, here we go. Okay, with autism. And she starts out singing at the beginning here, ready? Maybe add musical therapy, some music therapy to the research. That'd be kind of fun too. Okay, so what we're looking at is uh, we have the harness system and the very tight body harness. And what she can do is she can jump up. It's got a triple pulley. I can easily lift her. And with that, we spin her working on her vestibular balance. So with that, she's got the vestibular balance that we're working on. But in addition, we also have the proprioception of the tight body harness, the axis that she holds while she's rotating, the balance that she's trying to create, and in addition, the midline cross. So she's using her feet are crossed, her hands are crossed, and her head slightly turned. So she's using both sides of her brain at the same time. So with that, uh, obviously autism and sensory children truly enjoy spinning. So with that, we feel like we can work on multiple things at the same time. Also, as she hits that open starfish position, she's also working on the Moro reflex at the same time. So she looks great there, okay. Uh, let, so that's our first person, our first group that we'd really like research on is on sensory and autism children. From there, uh, our next group that we're very interested in is the aging population. So as you can see here, let me move her a little bit more to the middle here. She uh, is 64 years old and has severe balance issues. Okay, so with that, uh, she's just gonna stand on our electric spinner where the harness is now there as support so she doesn't fall off. She's not gonna do any flight. She's just gonna stay on the electric spinner. And she's just gonna do one turn and it's, it's very slow. But once again, working on that vestibular, she's gonna work on her balance while she's doing the vestibular. So it's really applying multiple things at the same time. She's got her axis, she's got balance uh, and the proprioception of that tight body harness, which is also uh, very comforting as, as you're on the spinner. But she's just gonna do one turn and that's the extent of her abilities at this point. I'm gonna to move to, so our aging population, if we could do some research there. We also, my next group that I'm very interested in is on post-concussion. So we've got post-concussion from five years prior to this video being shot. Uh, it was a severe concussion and here he is going here, he's getting, he's getting started on the spinner, but then going up into flight. And it's really pretty good. Like this is, uh, this is really actually quite good. So he's got the axis, the balance, the proprioception, the vestibular training. And what we're really looking for is how dizzy he is when he comes off of it. And uh, he's severely dizzy, like severely dizzy. And the more he trains, hopefully the more we can get some of that dizziness to go away, which is very exciting. 
And then just for massive comparison, uh, we have a high-end athlete. So with this high-end athlete, she's amazing. Watch this. But look at the skill okay, level. She's going to do 100 on the speed spinner. Here we Okay, so she's doing 100 on the electric spinner and look at her go. <laughs> wow, look at the difference in abilities that you can see here. So she's got vestibular, axis balance, proprioception, midline cross. She can switch axes right there in that transition right there. And the amazing part of this athlete is she doesn't get dizzy at all. So according to her mother, since she's been doing this training, her grades have gone up significantly. So not only has she improved athletically, but she's improved dramatically academically and she doesn't even get dizzy. So it's very exciting work. And we're so excited to bring these products to the market. And uh, you can see them all at vestibulartrainingservices.com. But in uh, the, all of my information through the university, you'll be able to connect to me through emails and links. And I am also on LinkedIn. I would love to communicate with everyone because we really believe in academic research and we would love to team up with uh, multiple different groups. So specifically, once again, uh, the, the autism and sensory group, the, the aging group, the post-concussion, uh, the athletes, but then of course, there's also the dizzy balance group too. So we, we hope to work with you in the future. And I want to thank everyone at the university for being so kind and generous and allowing me to present today to really encourage you to, 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 well, to join us. But in addition to also joining um, the rest of the small businesses of the world that really could use your help and we can all team up and make the world a better place. So thank you again. I appreciate all of your time and your academic endeavors. And I hope to work with you in the future. Thank you. Have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful conference.